Hey guys, it's Noelle. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today's video, I'm going to share with you guys all of my favorite products that have revived my damaged, overly processed, overly bleached hair. Yeah, it's been a real struggle. So a quick little synopsis of what happened to my hair. If you guys have been on, here on my channel for a while, you guys know that I'm originally from New Jersey. I grew up there my entire life. I had a really, really great hairstylist while living there and going to college. She was amazing. Oh, she did such a good job on my hair, bringing it to blonde. And oh, I just, I loved her, I miss her. But I'll answer pictures of what my hair used to be before, what it looked like during when that whole thing happened. And then obviously you guys can see my hair now and see what it looks like. Um, but I had, if you guys didn't know, but you can go look back on my old videos, I had extremely long hair. I loved my long hair so, so much, and hopefully one day I will get back to that. But yeah, I had really long hair. At one point, it was below my waist. I had very long hair. I loved it so much, and if you guys know anything about moving, you have to kind of replace everything in your life, and one of those things was my hairstylist. I didn't know a single hairstylist up here. I did my research, and I tried to find, like, girls that did hair up here um, and it just, I, I don't know, I didn't feel comfortable with any of them. Um, so when I first originally moved up here, I was working at Ulta and some of the girls that I worked with had got their hair done by this hairstylist and their hair looked amazing. She, this one girl had kind of the same hair as I did and that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted her color. It was a little bit brighter than my hair and all I needed was my roots done and just a little bit lighter. It's all I really needed. So I said, okay, I'll go to her, no problem. So I went to her and long story short, um, she over processed and over bleached my hair tremendously. She kept the bleach on for more than two hours. She did a full head of foiled bleach and I, I'm not like that <laughs> educated with hair. So I, I, I kind of, I was like trusting her. I was very nervous the entire time. I kind of like felt like it was something was wrong. And I even asked her at like an hour and 15 minutes, I was like, my hair has been under bleach for a very long time. Is it okay? Can you check it? She checked it. She's like, it's a low volume. It's fine. Your hair will be okay. Don't worry about it. And I said, okay, all right, whatever. She wasn't even done with my hair yet. Once she took the foils out and started blow drying it, my hair literally, literally fell out. It was just coming out of my head. I was freaking out. Um, she was brushing my hair once she was done blow drying it. She's like, does this usually happen? And I'm like, no, it doesn't usually happen. My hair doesn't fall out of my head. Oh, I was so angry. Yeah, and she didn't even do any like treatments after. Like usually when you bleach your hair, every hairstylist will usually do an Olaplex treatment or some sort of treatment to put those bonds back together and kind of like repair the hair that you basically just killed. And she didn't, she just took the bleach off, washed my hair, toned it. So my hair was like literally purple and blow dried it and that's it, did nothing. Oh God, my hair was, my hair was dead. It was horrible. My hair like bounced. So if you guys have ever had overprocessed hair, your hair, if it's bounced, that means your hair is like completely done. It felt like straw. It was horrible. I will insert the picture of what she literally left me with in the salon. It was horrible. I cried for days. I mean, that sounds overly dramatic, but I was one of those people that was very, very attached to my hair. I've had long hair my entire life, even as a child. And I was just so, I loved my hair so much. I took really great care of it. And I was very proud of having that long hair and having really healthy hair. So when I came home with damaged hair, I just, ugh, my world crumbled. It's fine. My hair's coming back to life. It's great. It's okay. I haven't touched it. So I found a new hairstylist. Um, and basically what we did was we brought the hair color back down. We brought it back mostly to like a neutral brown and it kind of faded to this. So the blonde is peeking through, which I love this color and I will keep this hair for a while. But anyway, we brought it back brown back down to brown because I was done with bleaching over it. So if your hair is damaged, don't bleach it. Common sense, just stop bleaching. So I stopped going to the hairstylist altogether. I've been once and I went like last October. Um, I mean, I am good. I am due for a good root, but honestly it's grown out really nicely and I just wanna continue with like just taking care of my hair. So I, um, so I will probably go back in the summer and just get like a touch up, but honestly we're not gonna do anything crazy, but yeah, so I'm happy with my hair the way it is now. As you guys can see, um, I will try and insert pictures. My hair has probably grown about, let me move back, about this much. So when this whole thing happened, when my hair was blonde, oh, I didn't even mention. So she said that she cut off six inches because she wanted to, the girl that did my hair the first time I came here and over processed my hair. And I was like, why did you cut off six inches? I told you to do a trim. And she's like, 
I just wanted to and I was like honestly I think and I honestly believe that like she had no choice my hair was so dead and it just kept breaking that I think that she just was forced to cut off the dead hair so my hair was about up to here which has never been it was above my boo area so it is now down to if I pull it down my hair straight it's a it's about past my boob so it's so it's grown about two inches two and a half inches give or take which is a long which is a long time since my hair is basically dead but i am so happy with the hair growth i'm happy with the health like the feeling of my hair my hair feels great um yeah so yeah as you guys can see what i was saying is you guys can see the hair growth um so if you guys look at the blonde area in my hair that was that was up to here when i first got it done by the second girl who did my hair and brought my hair color back down so you can see the hair growth um, this blonde area was all up towards my roots. So my hair has grown quite a lot and I am very, very thankful. And I honestly can say I owe it to these products. So let's get into the product portion now that this was like the longest intro to this thing ever, but I needed to tell you the background story on what happened to my hair. So you guys know what happened. Okay. I'm first going to start off with shampoo and conditioner. I'm honestly not too picky with a shampoo or conditioner. Honestly, if a shampoo cleans my hair and a conditioner conditions it, I don't really see, um, a point spending that much money in something but honestly i do look for things that are sulfate free which means it's not going to strip your hair you don't want sulfates in your hair products it kills your hair and you don't want alcohol in your products as well so that's kind of the only thing i look for so i have three that i've been using and i want to share them with you so i have like a process when i get in the shower so i'll do shampoo to take all of the product out of my hair because i do put a lot of texturizing products in my hair when i style it um, and then I will do a hair treatment, which I will share with you in a second. And then I will go back in with shampoo again to shampoo the treatment out and then condition. That's not every time I shower. That's only if I do the treatment. Um, but if I just shower regularly, it's shampoo conditioner. That's honestly nothing crazy. But, um, these are the three products that I've been loving. This one, the first one I'm going to share with you is more for like cleaning purposes. And I'll explain why this just cleans my hair more it gets a lot of the product out of my hair because i do use a lot of hair products this is the way shampoo and it's their smooth one you guys can see the product is literally like down here um it's almost empty i love this stuff so much it really does smooth my hair out and it's just a really nice shampoo love it but these two are also the ones that i've been using as well and they are from shea moisture they're very affordable honestly i think this was like nine bucks and this was way cheaper than this because it's a smaller bottle but i got the raw shea butter moisture retention shampoo and the conditioner and this stuff is phenomenal for its price um if if, if you let the shampoo sit you'll see all of like the the like the argon oil and all the oils that are in here because you have to shake it up and that's honestly what's putting all that moisture and like health back into the hair i love this stuff so much it doesn't necessarily like take all of the like the product out of my hair that's why i kind of use that one more if i'm getting a lot of the product out and this is more for like putting the moisture back in it, it yeah so it doesn't have like the best cleaning power but if you don't use a lot of product this is fine so both of these are they fortify and restore damaged transitioning hair so they all sulfate free and color safe there are no sulfates parabens phylates uh pripylin glycol jesus mineral oil no animal testing and no petro petro something something so yeah, they're awesome, awesome, awesome products. I got these at Ulta. They make my hair feel so smooth, so soft, and they're honestly such a great price. So I love these so much, and this is what I've been using to just kind of revive my hair, but still get the whole shampoo and conditioning process. Now, moving on to treatments. Like I said, if I am doing a treatment in my hair, I will shampoo, shampoo first, treatment, shampoo, and then condition, um, because you have to shampoo this treatment out. This I think is the number one product that has brought my hair back to life. It's talked about so much on like social media. It's in Sephora, like a lot, of, like most hairdressers use it. And there's a reason why, because it is phenomenal. It is the Olaplex number three. There's a number one and number two, which is a shampoo and conditioner I've never used. So I don't know if it's good or not, but I use the number three, which is basically the take home version of what you get in the salon. And it's just a bond like repair. So it will bring your hair back to life. It will repair your hair. And this honestly has just, I've already been through a bottle. I literally just got this the other day with the Sephora sale. So this is my second bottle. I wish it came in a bigger bottle. If there's one product that you can get from this entire haul, get the Olaplex, please. This will really, really bring your hair back to life and start that whole process of like renewing your hair and getting it back to what it was before it became damaged. I love this stuff so much and I cannot say enough great things about it. If I'm not doing like a hardcore treatment like that, that's pretty hardcore. So you'll leave this on for about like 
it says 20 minutes on the bottle, but I kind of do 30 just because I want an extra extra power. But yeah, it's a pretty long treatment. You, you, I basically sit out of the shower and just wrap a towel like around my neck and let it sit there. But if you want an in-shower treatment, this is also a really good one as well if you kind of want to prolong the usage because that is a pretty small bottle and it's pretty pricey for how small it is. I also use the Way Treatment Mask. I love this stuff so much. I also use the Living Proof one it comes in like a jar but i've already been through that that's that's another one that i'm absolutely obsessed with that makes your hair so smooth um yeah those are the two that i really only use this one and the living proof one so if you want to look at either one um they're both great this one has a really great smell they just put that moisture back in your hair and it's better than conditioner it's just a deeper treatment so i always use one of them from time to time as well in between my olaplex treatments so that is basically all that i do in the shower now i'm going to move on to products that i use outside of the shower to help with my hair as well and also with styling products so whenever i get out of the shower my hair is why i always 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 use this you guys can see literally how much i have left it is down here i love this stuff i always use a leave-in conditioner just because it'll sit in your hair while you're sleeping at night and it's just another another product to put hydration moisture and just life back into your hair so this is i know there's a lot of whey products um this is not sponsored i love whey so much i've been using them for so long you guys can look back on my old videos if you guys don't believe me but i love whey i've had this bottle for a while too actually um and it's lasted me a really long time and i use this every night so it's just their leave-in conditioner um and it's really good it's a spray bottle and that's about it yeah, I really recommend a leave-in conditioner just because it's just another step that really is just going to put the moisture back into your hair. Also, another thing that I love to use um, in terms of when my hair is wet or dry, I do use these in both types of my hair. Um, I will apply this sometimes at night or if I have uh, like frizzy ends, if the hair is starting to get like frizzy at the bottom, just because that is where most of the dead hair is, I will put a little bit of hair oil at the bottom and that really just puts more moisture back into your hair. I have three different oils for you guys from bougie to like middle to like very affordable. So just in case if you guys wanted different options. So this is the bougie bottle. As you guys can tell, it is such a gorgeous bottle. I love this stuff. I got this like a year ago and I use it a lot actually. Um, and it's still still going strong. This is the Gisu Honey Infused Hair Oil. This stuff is so, so, so good. This smells amazing. Hair oils are fantastic. They just put another moisture back into your hair. So this one's really, really good if you guys just want to splurge a little bit. It looks cute on your dresser, something like that. So the next one is kind of like medium price point. I love this stuff because it's a kind of a two-in-one. And also, this is my favorite smell by way. It is their Melrose Place smell. It is my by far my favorite scent that they have in all of their products. It is their Rose Hair and Body Oil. I love this stuff because I also obviously put it in my hair. Um, I use it in baths and I also mix it in with my body lotion because it is a body oil. So you can get a lot of uses out of this. It's so, so good um, and it just smells really good. This is, again, my favorite scent. But yeah, um, the Rose Hair and Body Oil is another great hair oil if you're looking for one. And then lastly, this is another hair oil that I love. I've had this for so long. I had this when I still live back in New Jersey. I love this one. It is the Wella Oil Reflections Light Luminous Reflective Oil. This stuff is so, so good. My friend back home recommended this to me because she has like beautiful hair and my hair would get really dry and tangly underneath. So she's like, girl, you need a hair oil. Get this one. It's amazing. I still stand by this. I've also talked about it in another video about a year ago um, and I still love it so, so much. So I think this was like 10 bucks or something uh, i have the bigger bottle too which was i think ten dollars um but yeah this one's really good as well and you can get this at ulta too and then last but not least if your hair is damaged dry over bleached over processed anything you and not even you just if your hair is if you have hair you need a heat protectant you need a heat protectant you need to protect your hair if you're using hair styling and i still do style my hair just because I do do my hair, I take shoots, um, I'm filming, so I kind of need my hair to look a little bit of style, they look a little bit put together. But I try and use at least amount of heat as possible. I don't straighten my hair um, if I'm not doing my hair, I just let it air dry. I don't blow dry my hair, I let it air dry. The only heat that I really use on it is a curling iron from time to time, and I rarely do that like twice a week just because the, the curls do hold in my hair because of this baby. Um, but yeah, I try and use as I try and use the least amount of heat on my hair just because it does kill your hair. So the two heat protectants that I love, this one's more affordable and this one's a little bit more pricey. Not too pricey, but it's still two different price points, whatever you're looking for. The first one is Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray. 
It smells, smells really good. It's infused with sunflower and vitamins A and E. It smells really, really, really good. But um, yeah, I got this at Target. I think it's like five bucks if you're looking for just, you need something. You need something to put on your hair before you put any heat on it whatsoever. Um, so yeah, this one's a really good one. And then this one is my favorite, but I only use it from time to time just because I don't want to run out of it because it's so good. But if I need my hairstyle to last a little bit longer than I usually do, then I will use this because of the fact that it does hold your style longer. So this is way um ways memory mist and it's not only a heat protectant um it also i think protects from uv rays as well but it also prolongs your hairstyle there's something in this i'm not entirely sure what that exact product is but there's a product that is built into this heat protectant that um makes your hair kind of remember the hairstyle and keeps it and la makes it last longer so you don't have to put that much heat on it so i love this stuff my hair actually really does because my hair does not hold a curl very well it will fall out in a day um, especially in heat so this stuff really does prolong my hairstyle and it allows me not to use as much heat on it as I usually would so that's really good these two are amazing um, but yeah you should always use the heat protectant okay so that is all the products that I have for you guys today I hope this video wasn't too long but I really wanted to share with you guys the whole story of what happened to my hair so you guys kind of have a background of what happened and just share with you guys the products that have really helped my hair come back to life. It is possible, you guys, you, you, can, you can come back from a bad hairstylist, you can. If I can do it, you can do it. My hair was horrible, it was straw, it was bouncy, it was coming out of my head, and my hair is thriving now. We're getting back to the point where it was, and I just can't wait for it to go longer. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful. I hope you guys don't have <laughs> that bad of a hairstylist story, um, but if you do, and if you want to share, you can leave them down below, and we can wallow in self-pity together, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!